economic globalization that would have the unity of the human family as foundation and cooperation as its objective to promote solidarity and the peaceful and just world is unfortunately feeding a globalization of indifference. The most obvious expressions of such indifference are the collective selfishness and cynical realism which exclude the weakest and sacrifice human persons and the altar of short-term interests power. Mr. President, in this context and in the framework of the CCW, an alarming development seems to be gaining ground. The respect and promotion of international humanitarian law are increasingly ignored and violated. Just look at what is happening in today's armed conflict. At best, the humanitarian principles have become a mesmerizing litany. The Holy See is alarmed by these developments that can only lead to more violence, misery, and suffering. The Holy See associates itself with a responsible and urgent warning launched recently by the United Nations Secretary General and the President of the International Committee of the Red Cross. The description they make of the continued erosion of and the non-compliance with the rules of international humanitarian law is alarming. The two senior leaders judge the, cur the current situation as unacceptable. They see that the world is at the crossroads and that all state and non-state actors have the duty to engage to renew a contract for humanity that should benefit millions of people affected by armed conflict. The Holy See proposes to put in place a group of governmental experts on lethal autonomous weapon systems, another one on the use of explosive weapons in populated areas, and a third group for the revision of the protocol on incendiary weapons. These are not new issues for the CCW. What is happening on the ground in many conflicts is unacceptable. The CCW bears a part of the responsibility with regards to these negative, develop, negative developments and to providing solutions in areas of its competence. Mr. President, in a renewed awareness of the seriousness of the situation of international humanitarian law, the CCW is called to fulfill its role in partnership with the ICRC, International Organization, and civil society active in this area. Allow me, Mr. President, to conclude with this quote from the speech of Pope Francis to the General Assembly of the United Nations last September. He says, without the recognition of certain incontestable natural ethical limits and without the immediate implementation of those pillars of integral human development, the ideal of saving succeeding generations from the scourge of war and promoting social progress and better standards of life and larger freedom risks becoming an unattainable illusion, or even worse, idle chatter, which serve as a cover for all kinds of abuse and corruption. War is the negation of all rights and the dramatic assault on the environment. If we want true integral human development for all, we must work tirelessly to avoid war between nations and people. To this end, there is a need to ensure the uncontested rule of law and tireless recourse to negotiation, mediation, and arbitration. I thank you, Mr. President.